So this is my short review for the Heavy's H1H headphones. Um, I got them last week and I've been you know, using them on and off um, since then. I have a few things to say, both positive and negative, about them, especially for, uh, for me, for my uh, experience. These are, um, they are great sounding headphones. Look at the front uh, drivers. Um, and they are very solid. They are, uh, they weight quite a bit. They feel very sturdy, you know, like it doesn't feel flimsy or anything. You know, they are very solid. Also the, um, the pads, they, they look like they can, they're gonna, they're gonna last a while. Um, there's the buttons down there. Um, I don't have a problem with the, the way they, they've uh, implemented the, the buttons, you know. I like the, the volume, it's a, it's a dial. And then there's a, the, like, skip forward, skip back, backward uh, song. Um, there's the on off and hell blocker, which is the noise canceling feature. And then there's the pairing button for the uh, for uh, Bluetooth and um, USB-C uh, connecting port. And then there's the analog run, the, the analog one, right? A negative thing I have to say in my experience with them is um, the um, this side plates, the things, um, they take, they, uh, they com come off, but uh, my problem is, I don't know if, if you're gonna see, the, see it, but they get a lot of um, finger oil on them. So not a lot of um, fingerprints, but it gets a little shiny once you've um, used them enough, you know, when you pull them on and off. Um, and another thing is uh, they are heavy. They are heavier than I would, I would have wanted, and uh, they're big. They're big. Um, I'm not used to uh, this this kind of headphones. The the noise cancellation by itself is pretty nice, um, but I feel like I I, I look weird uh, in these giant headphones. Um, for com uh, Okay, so for comparison, I have my um, my other headphones are these. These are the uh, Sennheiser's um, HD 201, and um, well, the cups are uh, they don't have the leather anymore. Um, but I mean, this is my ideal size, I guess. You can see how big the heavies are. Look at the cup. There is a big difference. For me, at least, this is almost double the size of these, and they weight at least twice what these ones weight. So uh, that is something to uh, take into consideration. Okay, so for the positives, um, they sound amazing. They are they have big cups, so my ear fits completely inside uh, this. The the sound feels very. Um, it doesn't feel like it's coming from one place. It feels like it's coming from everywhere. You know, like when you're uh, at a concert, that's how it feels. Um, my ears, it never got tired of the volume. So that's, I think that's, they, they did it right with that. Um, well, oh, uh, they're pretty, um, I mean, they're decently um, portable, right? I don't have the case, I didn't buy the case, but they fold up to something like this, right? So not, not too bad for giant headphones. Um, so I feel like if you are uh, uh, somewhat 
uh, small, like me. Um, this will feel a bit heavy a, uh, and quite large, you know. I um, maybe it's because they're new, but the um, the headphones press against my head and it hurts a bit. Uh, it's not too bad. If I wear a hat, it feels better. Um, and um, I would have preferred something um, like not 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 so uh, not so big, not so wide, you know. Yeah, so that's that's my uh, that's my uh, small review of the heaviest H1H. They sound great, but they don't fit my head um, as well as I, I would have hoped. So just a word of advice, if uh, you're small, you have a small head, um, be careful when you buy this. Thanks for watching and have a good day.